Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. I just wanted to make this quick video just so we can prove to the world that John does not just sit here with a piece of sandpaper in his hand waiting for a photo op. <laughs> he actually does do some work. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> someone's got to do it. Hey, y'all want some fishing stories? Oh, me and John's got some good ones, man. We used to, we've, we was, we've been fishing buddies for years. <laughs> we got some good ones, man. Remember that time in Marion? You caught that big old walleye? Yeah. Alleged yeah. walleye. Yeah, he let it go. <laughs> it was longer than the tape on my boat. <laughs> we was, we was trolling. Me and John liked to troll for walleyes. You know, drive around the lake and throw a lure over the side, you know. But he had this bass boat. And it was rough, man. It was windy that day. There was waves like four foot high. Coming over the boat, splash! Well, John hooks this monster walleye, allegedly. <laughs> There's no proof of this. <laughs> yeah, just the fact that he's talking about it. <laughs> Proves it was there. But... He hooked this fish, and he thought he was snagged for a long time. And then, you know, we seen the line moving, and it's windy. The boat's blowing 20 mile an hour with the, wind, with the engine off. It's hard to tell, you know. But he finally figured out he had him a fish, and it was a big one. He was screaming, get the net, Bob, get the net. And then, uh, so, well, where's the, the net? He got the minnow net. He didn't get the real net. <laughs> he pulled out, he had this net. It was about this big around, man. <laughs> I think it was too big to be a minnow net. We're too little. But <laughs> I'm laying down on the bow of this boat, waiting for him to bring that fish up. And I've seen this walleye people. His head was this big around, man. It was the biggest walleye I ever seen in my life. And he said, get it, get it. The boat's going up and down, splash, splash. And I'm trying to get this big old fish in his little bitty net. And, uh, yes, yes. So he looked back at me just before I let him go. But, uh, I can't let him catch the biggest fish in the, in in the world, man. <laughs> and I was trying to hook this, hook, get him in there, you know, and the lure got snagged up on the net. And it was one of them big old, a rattle trap or something. No, a hot tot. Big hot tot. It straightened out the hook. No, it broke him, remember? Snapped. Yeah, because, uh, the lure got hooked on the net and that fish just started spinning. Snap! Broke that hook right off. That fish, like, I know he looked right at John and winked as he swam back off into the deep. Yeah, Bob was breathing a sigh of too. It was a monster, people. That day it was, would have been allegedly. <laughs> record, man. It was huge. I think about the time was at El Dorado and the wind's blowing about 45. <laughs> we're out there trolling and the fishing game were out on the dam trying to get our boat numbers to ask them what the hell they were doing. They said they wanted to know who to notify for the next to kid. <laughs> <laughs> Screw 
back in. Is that your fuel cylinder? No, it's propane. Well, I got some more. I got some of this. I got some of this harder stuff. Oh, it's three millimeter. Four millimeter on the fuel. So you can see the yeah, you can see your fuel going in. Or, all right. Now, how we search again? Okay, we're coming out with a fresh coat here. Yep. That's the end. That's where I'm putting it over there. Just cut that off. Exactly, it's going to be play for both ends. In the tail cone. Yeah, the tail cone's different. Yeah. Quite a bit of difference on the tail cone. Yeah, that looks like a 30 pounder. I always wondered, these just don't seem like they produce much thrust. Yeah. Well, I wonder if they're going to change if they upgrade these when they rebuild them. Looks like they've just screwed in there. There's nothing wrong with Yeah, they've just been screwed. screwed. Yeah. them all. Yeah. I wonder why they took it out of there completely. time. We'll make some more vi videos, people. Let me get this board made. And uh, we'll get it painted. Then we'll put it back in when we're ready to hook everything up. And uh, it won't take but a minute. So, tune back in for some more Bob TV. Same Bob time. St. Bob Station. It's a drama-free zone.